So my name is Dr. Amal Starling I'm from Mayo Clinic in Phoenix, Arizona. In this study, what we were doing is using the King Devic test, which is a rapid number naming test, um, to validate it as a sideline tool for youth athletes. So we all know that concussion um, is very prevalent at this time. Um, every year, um, the CDC estimates up to 3.6, 3.8 million concussions are occurring per year. So this is very important to our youth athletes because they are very much at risk due to the sheer number of youth in sport, as well um, as the fact that we know that younger age is actually a risk factor for prolonged recovery. We need to make sure that we have a good way on the sideline, on the bench, wherever the sport is being played, to have a sideline tool that we can use for removing people from play after a suspected concussion. Right now we don't have that, so we're trying to validate a, validate a test. This is the King Devic test that we've got right here. And the first part of the test is just the demonstration card, which shows you that you need to just read the numbers from left to right, left to right. The next card is test card one, and there's gonna be a series of three cards. When you go to this page, again, you're gonna read from left to right, left to right. And you're gonna start timing them when they read the first number and stop timing when they read the last number. You stop the timer in between the cards, you move to the next card, and as you see, from test card one to test card two, it gets progressively harder as the lines go away. You do the same thing reading from left to right and you time them until the end of the page and then you go to the last test card which is test card three which again you can see that now not only are the lines gone but also the numbers are closer together so it makes it again progressively harder and you time them and when you get to the last number and you stop the top stopwatch that final time is their King Devic test time. And we're looking at rapid eye movements as well as attention, two things that we know are very much affected in our concussed athletes. And this test has actually already been validated in collegiate athletes, um, but we wanna make sure that in our adolescent athletes that it's also valid. They've also validated this um, by correlating it to other validated tools like the post-concussion symptom scale as well as the computerized cognitive testing that's available. So what we did for this study is that in collaboration with the Arizona High School Hockey Association, we were able to get about 150 adolescent athletes and we did preseason testing and we did post-injury testing, so right on like the bench um, or in the um, locker room afterwards. Um, after an injury, we would do the testing and then we did post-season testing. And what we found um, is that there were about 20 athletes that had head injuries. All 20 athletes had clinically diagnosed concussions. And all 20 athletes, every single one of them, had a prolonged time on the King Devic test. So for our study, it was 100% sensitive in detecting clinical concussions, which is huge. The other thing that we did in this testing is we did pre-season and post-season King Devic times or King Devic tests. And we found a surprising finding. What we found is that there was a group of athletes, about 11 athletes, that had postseason times that were prolonged. So what does this mean? We don't necessarily know yet, but the concern is that maybe prolonged times in the absence of symptoms might be an asymptomatic concussion or a silent concussion. And there's actually other studies that show similar results where they did functional imaging looking at preseason and postseason testing and they found that there was this group of athletes that did not have concussed symptoms or concussive symptoms but had abnormal tests. So our concern is maybe the King Devic test is detecting asymptomatic concussions or silent concussions but we really need to do some further research to define that.